We're at the oldest harness track in America, Freehold Raceway in Freehold, New Jersey, established way back in 1853 before the Civil War. Today's day of championship racing is highlighted by last year's Trotter of the Year, Pine Chip. His dominance of late 93 has continued this year. He's won five of seven starts, and in so doing, took a full two seconds off Maclo Bell's half-mile world record. But he'll have to stop last year's champion, Earl. We now focus our attention on the $300,000 open trot in the Cadillac Breeders' Crown at Freehold. And Gary, when you talk about this division, you have to talk about Pine Chip, who last year was the trotter of the year, and this year has been more lightly raced. However, he's been very dominant. One of the reasons he's been lightly raced, Bruce, is because of the fact that he shipped back from one of Sweden's top races, Sweden's top race, the Elite Lop, came back with a respiratory virus, has not been able to shake it, and is finally coming back into his top form now. Pine Chip has set two world records the last two times he has stepped onto a racetrack. Let's take a look at the complete field and the morning line odds. Pine Chip drew the rail, hence he is the three to five morning line choice with John Campbell, the driver. Number two, High Noon Star and Jack Moiseev at nine to two. Another blizzard from the three hold with Jody Stafford at 20 to one. Recourse is 10 to one with Dick Williams. Number five, SJ's photo and David Wade at five to one. And number six, Earl with Chris Christopheru, six to one from the six hole. Gary, let's talk about some of the top contenders, and let's begin with Earl, last year's Breeders' Crown champion. He's had a little bit of difficulty this year physically, but still he's won nine races, and he's closing in on a million dollars in his career. Earl has a great deal of front end speed. He likes the front end, and I expect to see him pretty much up close early. Uh, he is definitely a top horse, and I think uh, he's going to be very tough once again. He still has to beat the very tough pine chip. High Noon Star has been second in the Breeders' Crown for the last two years. He is definitely a formidable force, and he really raced last year in the shadows of American Winter, who won the Hamiltonian. But he's a good racehorse in his own right. And something interesting about High Noon Star, coming into this race with five consecutive victories. Last year, he came into the Breeders' Crown with four consecutive losses and finished second. I don't know if that really means anything, Bruce, but that's, he's got the longest winning streak coming into this race. SJ's photo. This is like the United Nations. We've got owners from Italy, Estonia, the United States, Morocco. It's a wild group. It certainly is. And SJ's photo, always a tough competitor, always racing against the top trotters, and has had some pretty good success the last couple of years. Uh, Multi-talented horse, but I think he's going to have a very difficult task today. Nine wins this year for SJ's photo. He doesn't carry his racetrack around with him. He can win on any size oval in any part. And we are just moments away from the open trot. Let's take a look at the tote board right now. Pine Chip is one to nine, the overwhelming choice from the rail. Number two, High Noon Star is six to one, second choice. Number three, another blizzard is 29 to one. Recourse from the four hole is a long shot at 28. Number five, SJ's photo getting little respect at 10 to one. That could be an overlay. And number six, Earl is currently being held at nine to one. The free haul track record held by Baltic Achiever, 157 even. The world record recorded by Pine Chip on September 18th of this year at Delaware, Ohio. That's 154. Mac Lobel's old record on a half mile oval was 156. So we're set to go for the open trot of the Cadillac Breeders' Crown with Pine Chip, the one to nine public choice. And right now we go back to Gary Seibel for the call of the Cadillac Crown. World champion Pine Ship and driver John Campbell, a very powerful combination from the rail here at Freehold's Half Mile Oval. They are set for the 1994 Cadillac Breeders' Crown, and they are off and trotting in the open trot, and Earl quickly from the outside takes command, crossing over, and easily making the top. Coming away second, two lanes back on the inside, and settling in, it is recourse. Two more back, Pine Ship is unhurried away from the gate in third, as High Noon Star trots up on the outside, fourth for Jack Moiseev, and now passes 
versus Pine Ship and looks to take over here. Another blizzard has come away trotting in fifth and SJ's photo is the early trailer in the field. Quarter mile in 28 and one. And as they move up the backstretch, there goes High Noon Star and Jackie Moe. They have made the top. Earl is back to second and races with that cover. And here comes Pine Ship now. He's rolling up on the outside first over for John Campbell. And he'll look to be number one as they reach the half mile marker. Recourse is trotting in fourth followed there by SJ's photo who is now fifth and another blizzard is the trailer and as they pass by the half mile marker Pine Ship is cleared on the front end for John Campbell the half in 57 and 3 second quarter 29 and 2 they did indeed get a breather in that second paddle and John Campbell is Pine Ship looking very strong in the front end now as they move on to the back stretch for the final time. Length and a half back, High Noon Star trots in second. It's a length and a half to the early pace center. Earl is at the rail. Here comes SJ's photo. He's trotting up first over and uncovered. Next in line comes Recourse and the trailer, but on the move, it is another blizzard. Three quarters on the board, 127 flat. They are heading for the final turn and Pine Ship, no challenge here, free to trot on the front end. High Noon Star breathing right down his next second. SJ's photo inching a closer third on the outside. Earl is nailed to the rail in fourth. Top of the stretch now. They turn for home in the Cadillac Breeders' Crown. Open trot and Pine Ship is pouring it on now. Opening up by three and drawing away. Second High Noon Star. Earl is at the rail. SJ's photo on the outside. Pine Ship does it again. Going out a champion in his final career start. Pine Chip with the fastest mile ever at Freehold for an open trotter, 155 and 2. Pine Tr Chip driven to victory by John Campbell, trained by Chuck Sylvester, the four year old horse by Arn Don out of the speedy Somali mare, Pine Speed. And Gary, he made it look pretty easy. Uh, stroll in the park for Pine Chip, obviously, no signs of a respiratory virus there. Makes it two Breeders' Crowns in a row, and Pine Chip as strong as ever. High Noon Star, who finished second to Pine Chip last year, did it once again in 1994. Pine Chip, another great shot for top honors this year. Congratulations to Pine Chip, bred by KMW Farms and owned by Chuck Sylvester, Gerald Donahue, Neil Goldman, and the Guida Stable. For Chuck Sylvester, his eighth Breeders' Crown Trophy. For Lou Guida, his 20th. And for driver John Campbell, his 27th. Pine Chip returned $2.40 and 210. There was no show wagering. High Noon Star, $2.10 to place. Earl finished in the third spot, and the exact the one and two returned $4 even. Time of the mile, 155 and two. That is a new freehold track record. Back to the winner's circle, and Ellie. Thanks, Bruce, and on behalf of Cadillac, making the Breeders' Crown presentation to Pine Chips Connections, Mr. Dick Day. He's the Cadillac Eastern Zone Manager. On behalf of Cadillac and 1,600 super dealers across the country, we want to congratulate you on this outstanding race and this win with Pine Chip, the world's fastest trotter. Thank you very much for making it an, another excellent race. Congratulations. Geez, thanks very much. I'm so excited. I can't even talk today. Usually I, I got a lot to say, but right now I don't. Just thank everybody. What can I say after that? Just was a great horse. I'm sorry to see him retire. And next to me, the winning driver, no stranger to the Breeders' Crown Winner's Circle, John. An emotional day. Are you going to miss Pine Chip? Oh, absolutely, Ellie. I, I feel he's the, the best trotter, and when he was on his best day, nobody would have beaten him. And he's going out at the top of his game like a champion should. Congratulations, John Campbell. Thanks a lot, Ellie. So Pine Chip finishes his career with $1,711,000 in earnings, and now he will go to the breeding shed. He will stand at Castleton Farms in Kentucky, and one of his first mates will be Armbro Keepsake. Wouldn't you like to have a piece of that bull?